Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is your coach, my math channel. This is your coach, Mr. Magno. And today it's lesson, lesson 31 from the module four. The objective is to divide decimal dividends. This is the decimal dividend, this number right here. By nine unit decimal divisors. Nine unit means is less, less than one. It's less than one and this is the the nine unit okay all right so let's get into the steps the first step for you to solve this problem is you're going to rewrite this as a fraction let's do that so it's 34 and 8 tenths divided by 6 tenths okay so that's it, that's step number one. Step number two, multiply to solve, to remove decimal point and find the equivalent fraction. Okay, let's do that. 34.8 over 6 tenths times, okay, so am I gonna multiply this by 10 or 100? Well, if I pay attention to my decimals here, those are tenths, which means I'm going to multiply by 10. When I multiply by 10, remember on the place value chart, if you're not sure, use the place value chart. I am not going to do it for you again. You need to get your place value chart, so place the number where it needs to go, and recall that when you multiply by 10, the numbers move to the left. So now this number is going to be 348, and this 6 tenths times 6 equals 6. So now you know that this is a division. So we're going to divide. Step number three is to divide. 348 divided by 6. Let's get into this problem. How many times the 6 goes into the 3? And the answer is 0. How many times the 6 goes into the 34? So that will be, remember to find the answer, you have to do multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24. 30, so that will be 5. 5 times 6 equals 30, and the remainder is 4. You lower the 8. Remember, we have to multiply divide that 8. We haven't done it. Now, if you need a, a multiplication chart, use your agenda to get this quickly. So the 6 goes into the 48 how many times? That the, If you know your multiplications, you know that 6 times 8 equals 48. So 8 times 6 equals 48, and the remainder is 0. So the answer for this problem is 34 and 8 tenths divided by 6 tenths equals 58. And 58 what? 58 6 tenths. That's problem number one. Let's do one more. So here's another one. Okay, it's step one, like we said on the previous problem, is going to be to rewrite this as a fraction. So 736 divided by a tenth. So there is, I rewrote it as a fraction. Now we're going to remove the decimal by multiplying by, well, let's find out. So, um, so we, we, we rewrite 734. by again a tenth now how do i know what to multiply by if you look at the numbers to the right of the decimal th those are two numbers which is hundredths that means you're going to multiply this number by a hundred both of the numbers the numerator and the num denominator remember that we're not changing the value of this fraction we're just getting the answer and finding a an equivalent fractions so a hundred times 7 and 34 hundredths is 734. And 8 tenths times 100 equals 8. Our last step is to divide. So you grab the number 70, 734 divided by 8. And this is where you start doing your division. Remember, now we're back to division. We learned it a while back, so you have to recall it. 8, the 8 goes into the 7 zero times. The 8 goes into the 73 
you know that a goes into 73 nine times if you know your multiplication tables because nine times eight equals 72. It does not equal 73 like some students do. Do not do that. You gotta multiply nine times eight and the answer is 72. The remainder from 72 and 73 is one. Our next step is to lower the four and make the one a 14. So now we regroup those. And we ask ourselves again, how many times the eight goes into 14? And the answer is one. One times eight equals eight. And the remainder is six. Um, let's see, so now we're, do we look, find decimals here? I think we can do decimals. Let me see, maybe one, or maybe that could be the answer only. So let's just leave it that way. So when you divide seven and 36, divided by a hundredths that equals to 91 and 6